Now from the KMAX Storm Team Weather Lab, here's Chief Meteorologist Ron Roberts. Well, take a look at Pinpoint. Are you still the Super Doppler? Yeah, of course I am. What's it? <laughs> hey, Coach. How you doing? Uh, it's good to see you. Great to see oh, you. Man, it's been it's been a while. You look great. Well, so do you. Uh, well, now, I want to ask you something. Does it, does it rain mud in Pullman? No, it does not rain. It rains, but it does not rain mud in Pullman. Oh, and we've had hail in Pullman, but uh, it does not rain mud in, in Pullman. And and um, uh, and I remember that one time I came back from a golf tournament. Yeah. And it looked like snow, but there was eight inches of hail outside of uh, Fazoli's on Indiana Avenue. How about that? Now that that that's a true story there. Now you're looking at the radar. We have a cool front coming through today. Uh, you you're busy. You're here in Lubbock today. What are you What are you doing? I'm gonna go ahead and move <coughs> the map over here a little bit and show the showers moving our way. You're up behind them. Yeah, I um, well, I'm here doing a book signing at Barnes and Noble. Uh, I'll be at Barnes and Noble at 6:30 here pretty quick uh, to sign books. Uh, really, I'll sign anything that uh, somebody wants signed. But <laughs> my book, Swing Your Sword, on my path into coaching and and basically uh, how tech didn't pay me for 2009 and cheated me out of my contract. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Geronimo, um, uh, the bio on, oh, this yeah. is a Geronimo oh. book. Simon & Schuster published it. That's Geronimo right there. He's somebody you don't want to mess with very much. And no. so um, uh, Swing Your Sword made it to the New York Times bestseller. And then, and then this way. one. On the strength of that, got to do Geronimo. How about that? Okay, I'm going to have to do it because I loved, I love Swing the Sword. I, I love that book. Yeah, well, you know, and because we had uh, that uh, stuff in the appendix about, uh, you know, the perpetrators. Uh, again, again, they still haven't paid me for 2009. They mm -hmm. won nine games in 2009. You think, you know, haven't won nine cents. But anyway, yeah. so now we're trying to get the records so that uh, uh, we can uh, prove their misdeeds, and that's why they have open records requests, so you can keep an eye on government mis misbehavior. And so, and they're resisting it because. Well, they're the government, and they misbehaved a couple of those yeah, guys. Yeah, I, I, I think a lot of people around here think that. Now, you know, something has changed between when we last were together, yeah, and I believe that was 2004. Wow. Uh, and now, is that, see, we have these sky cams. Look, at, look, Coach, uh, there we were. Yeah, there we are. We're floating. <laughs> yeah, that was us back in 2004. Yeah. So I, w I looked a little beefier back then. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you were uh, you were in playing shape. Then. <laughs> you were ready to hit and something there. there. You you were up there talking about how yep, you very do, very did. very excited to to see a player there next to me. Yeah, yeah, and you were showing how you do the weather. You go outside. Do you do that in Pullman? You just go outside and no. Nah, well, they don't turn me loose with weather too much in Pullman. You I don't. have learned a thing or two since. Um, huh. uh, you know uh, about weather because I you know I didn't I didn't really know anything is all on the move when I was here before, but um, no, you always want to do this. Yeah. And this will lead up a few seconds. Ah! Here's a message from the National Weather Service. It's hot. It's hot in Lubbock, Texas, and it's going to be hot. It may be a little less hot than it usually is, but it is going to be hot. Does it get hot in Pullman? It can, it can, especially in yeah, August. Yeah. More, more uh, top heavy in August. But uh, well, we'll look at this seven-day forecast. It's not quite as hot, Coach. We got a ten percent chance of rain. Temperatures up eighties, near ninety. Yeah, but uh, you know, at the, when I was at the other studio, I, yeah. I, I, I kind of looked at the answers on the test a little bit. Yeah, you did on this weather stuff. And uh, you know, you guys were promised cooler weather today. Well, then, uh, then you've got, in fairness, uh, so the, really they owe you, they should subtract off another six, eight degrees from what I read. Well, you, you know what the, the difference between your job and mine is? That when I'm wrong or a loss like you, I, I still get paid even when I'm wrong on my forecast. Yeah. Yeah, and, and nobody challenges my contract. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true because... Uh, yeah, it's a, uh, state institutions, they have this uh, screwy thing called sovereign immunity. Only the state of Texas, only the state of Texas can you cheat your citizens out of an integrated contract. So which, you can't do that in Washington State? No, no other state allows that because they came to their senses years ago. And the thing is, people really ought to look it up. It happens to contractors quite a bit, too. Um, uh, but nevertheless, who would think that uh, someone would have uh, would lack the decency to you know to pay what they get so 
So, you know, they, they decide they're not going to pay me after winning nine games. Uh, 30 some odd hours before they owe me, they fire me and then they pretend they don't owe it to me other than, you know, what about all the, the nine games they enjoyed? You know? And, and yeah. then worse yet, 10 years of players, coaches, fans, all that enjoyed it, that should be celebrating it, and we should, we should grab hands, we should all celebrate the, the, the achievement, the future of Texas Tech, enjoy with fond memories of those times because mm-hmm. there are only a few bad perpetrators that caused this whole problem to begin with. But it all star, I mean, you got to pay your bills, you know, and, and uh, really any honest person understands that. Well, Coach, I know one thing. Uh, folks miss you out here. Uh, we miss how you, we could be behind in the fourth quarter to Minnesota and beat them in a bowl game, the greatest comeback in history, I believe. Yeah, try not to get behind, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, climactic, if you must, but mm-hmm. let's try to make more of them anticlimactic. But, but you're you're missing around here. Red Raider fans love you, and I'm glad you just popped in like this. This is uh, great to have you. Well, it's great to be here. I really appreciate it. It's great to be. You guys have decked out this studio in a fancy fashion. Yeah, yeah. Still got some cool Red Raider stuff, you know. Which, oh, yeah. uh, You know, of course, Dave, that's David the core Collier. of this uh, community and our fans and our Red Raider Nation. David Collier over there, Coach. We're getting a wrap. So, uh, why don't you just say we'll be right back. We'll be right back.